Aber wir haben vorhin über Angst gesprochen. Moment, hier ist gerade die Polizei, bricht gerade die Tür auf. Polizei! Nicht für die Hände sehen! Auf dem Boden, auf dem Boden! Runter, beide! Runter, auf dem Boden! Geh runter! Zwei Personen hier! Am Boden liegen bleiben! Wie sind Ihre Namen? Wie heißen Sie? Wie heißen Sie? Ich bin Andreas Hannover. So I actually wanted to explain the world that Germany has become a police state okay. governed by police law. They can intrude any apartment and they don't even have to explain this themselves. They even don't have, they do not even have to explain how they enter, how they intrude this apartment here, why they did it. They just did it without explanation. I just don't know why. <laughs> I look in the hole of a machine gun. And you know, that was the first time for me looking in the machine gun. And uh, They did not give me any explanation. So I wanted to explain the world, what really happened, why it happened. I don't know, but it seems that we have martial law in Germany. It's martial law light, just started. And um, what I looked and um, uh, From literature, uh, we, um, how shall I put it in words, um, where, where I made my searching research, um, they will start a kind of mandatory vaccination uh, mid in December. It seems that we will have a lockdown till end of May, at least next year. And um, when you grow up in Germany, in a free Germany, uh, you really have no idea what happened now. It seemed that 1984 uh, from George Orwell just happened now in Germany, or it starts to happen. So interestingly, um, the story of um, um, George Orwell, 1984, um, actually had the first title. So they changed it in 1984. So the first title was The Last Man in Europe. So it wasn't predicted to 1984 by George Orwell. Um, but is it possible that in a couple of years, There will be a last man in Europe. So they intruded this apartment while I was making a Zoom call. And it just happened. I had to lay down on the floor for about half an hour. And I just didn't know why. Nobody explained me. Until now, nobody explained me. This is now the new law in Germany. And I'm a little bit astonished. And I don't know whether the world knows what happens in Germany, which might be a really free country um, some decades ago. But today, it seems like a day like a country which is dominated and governed by martial law. And 
we may expect now then half a year half a year later half a year now in the future we will really have a tough martial law with mandatory vaccination and nobody knows what really is in this vaccination stuff and so what i'm doing is publishing some strategy what they might do with us and um, what i make public is a, is a plan um, which here in germany not so much people know about it it's called the deagle list um, i think 70 80 years ago uh, the nazi had governed Germany by martial law and there was a, a movie called Schindler's List. You know about it. Um, perhaps in 100 years there will be a similar movie called then Deagle's List. And Deagle's List is about that in Germany five, 50 million people will be killed. And this Deagle list also expect that 5 million people in Israel will be killed, about 250 million people in the USA will be killed, and I think 40 million people in UK will be killed. And I'm making this list public. Is this one reason uh, why I get visited by the police? in a very nice habit, in a very nice way. Perhaps it was still nice. My luck, my good for me was that they did it in front of a camera. And so that this was public, yeah, live. Is it possible that this protected myself? What is this a kind of, of government? Um, a day later, or it was the same day, on uh, Wednesday, a law was um, was put together that they can do it. It's called, is it called the New Ermächtigungsgesetz by Angela Merkel? When we are 50 years more down in the future and we compare Angela Merkel um, Ermächtigungsgesetz with the Ermächtigungsgesetz of the Nazis, which one will be more tough? In 50 years we will know it, but these days we have to anticipate it, what it means. What it means that they can enter any apartment and not with a nice knock on the door, but they enter putting the door out of the way, enter with a machine gun in front of you. So. People say here in this little town, Langenzen, about 10 police cars stood in front of this nice house. And um, emergency um, medical, medical car. It was well planned. And I even don't have an answer or a reason why they did it. So is the answer, we are able to do it. They are able to do it. They are able to enter any house in Germany without giving any answer, without giving any explanation. Is this martial law? Is this still a democracy? Or is this tyranny?
And the German people do not really realize what happened. Maybe half a year later down the road, it's normal. It's a new normal. And we will have, yeah, hope, uh, Klaus Schwab, how did he put it in words? Uh, the Great Reset. So, are we going down the road to the Great Reset? That we, we do not have any belongings anymore in the future? Just a, a payment from the government? Everybody gets an, a payment, like in China? And the payment may differ because you are nice to the government? Or you are not so nice, you are a naughty boy, like me in school. So I was never categorized as not naughty. May people like me have a very small amount of money? Or will we get any money without a vaccination certification? A certification of vaccination? Do we have to accept this vaccination without knowing the containments, the ingredients? So if you ask me one year before that time, if I ask you one year November 19, uh, 2019, did anybody of you anticipate what ha will happen one year later? Why do the German people accept that? So, and I'm a chemist and I explain the people what happened when they wear all the time this mask. You know, we are all a biochemical reactor. And what, what comes out of our nose and our mouth, our breath, is um, a pollutant. It's a toxin. And by this mass, this toxin comes back into our body. Our brain, our power of the brain um, gets down every time. This police guy, didn't, he didn't manage to shut down the camera because his brain was in a partially shut down model, models. What will happen to our people half a year down the road? Will all our brains will go down in a shutdown modus? Will enter a shutdown modus, a partial shutdown modus? What will happen when we take the vaccine? So I think Germany is in great danger, and not just Germany. May, we might be the first, or in, an, in a kind like New Zealand or Australia. But we might be the first in Europe. So what happened, what really happened? Is it the next world war? against the people? Are we now in a war? And will it spring to our mind? Will it be obvious to those who have their eyes wide open that we are really in the next world war? World War number three. And my impression, my, my guess is, this world war now started all over.
And interestingly, one day after this video was published, our YouTube channel was shut down for further uploads. But not this video from the 18th of November uh, was criticized. A video a few days earlier was criticized and therefore this channel was shut down. So we are living under absolute censorship. And I do not know why YouTube censored this video and shut down this channel. Anybody from Germany who really made the experience that we are living in a police state? Maybe I show you this actual interview. Nach Wahrscheinlichkeiten gewichtete einzelne Ereignisse rausfischen muss, anhand deren ich Zeitlinien rekonstruiere. Also das ist ähm, es ist ja prinzipiell ist ja alles parallel gleichzeitig da. Ne? Und es gibt, es gibt keine Lebensvariante, die nicht existiert. Sondern alles existiert parallel gleichzeitig. Jede Wirklichkeit. Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung kurz. Egal. Entschuldigung, hier, die Polizei ist gerade da. Die Polizei ist gerade da. Ja. Und jetzt? Mach mal bitte auf. Ja, ich weiß nicht, was los ist. Das ist doch, das ist doch gerade ein Ich Schock. weiß nicht. Äh Guck mal, wir haben vorhin über Angst gesprochen. Moment, hier ist gerade die Polizei, bricht gerade die Tür auf. Ich will die Hände sehen! Auf dem Boden! Auf dem Boden! Runter! Beide! Runter! Auf dem Boden! Geh runter! Zwei Personen hier! Am Boden liegen bleiben! Wie sind Ihre Namen? Wie heißen Sie? Wie heißen Sie? Ich bin Andreas Irgendwelche Messer, Waffen, irgendwas einstecken? Nein. Computer aus. So, do you have any weapons? No. He's out of breath. This mask may handicap him. There was another friend of mine in the apartment, Celeste, and he was a little bit injured. What's your name? In a nice way. What's your name? I'm Andreas Noack. Yeah. Well, the other guy is seemingly uh, relaxed. Um, it seems that will be the new normal. He's very relaxed.
no sound anymore. Oh, it's ready. Sorry, that's it. Uh, quite interesting, is it? Nice new world we are facing now. So I think the people of the world have to watch very carefully. And I think we shouldn't take it as normal. I think we have united. We, ha we have to unite ourselves all over the world. Because this might happen everywhere in the world. And we will end up in a system like China. Where the world is a bit, how shall I put it in words, depopulated. Oh, I think that's for tonight, um, or for this morning, for this evening, wherever you are. Um, thank you for being here, and um, we will have a Zoom call, a next Zoom call tomorrow at 1.45 Central European time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, and have a good Bye. night, Gav. Thank you. Bye. Bye.